All right, my friends, we're going to start laying down here. So take your time kind of spreading your back out on the floor, and then you might put a little bend in your elbows, kind of drop uh, like cactus arms onto the floor. We want to think of really spreading the back out big time, getting the shoulder blades to smoosh down underneath your ribs. And then I find a little bend in the knees helps the low back to release a little bit more easily toward the ground. So if you've been sitting at your desk today or standing, uh, your low back might have collected a little bit of tension. Mm, take your time, just kind of arriving. And we want to cultivate some really big breath. So we'll start to get really, really big with each inhale. And with your exhales, get really small. We're thinking of the whole torso inflating with your inhale. Like you get two sizes bigger And with your exhale, the whole torso compresses inward. So you're using your strong belly muscles pulling in, strong rib cage muscles compressing inward as well. And make each breath a little longer than the last, a little more complete. And by doing this, we're actively using and massaging out all of the tissues in your back, your shoulders, uh, your, around your low back, especially going into your hips. So the bigger your breath is, the better. And now that we've maybe settled in a little bit more, let's start to intentionally lengthen your spine with each inhale. And use your exhales to release tension. So you might use your imagination a bit here. Tension draining out of your shoulders and hips, your legs and your back with each exhale. Notice if you're holding tension in your face, particularly your jaw, your forehead, and your tongue. Maybe even the little muscles around your eyes. Check there for uh, some kind of clenching, and allow that to release to the best of your ability. I find a lot of relief in allowing my jaw to hang open. Maybe you might as well. And notice the places that aren't really letting go so easily. Okay, so just notice where they are. We're just gathering information here. Where are your areas of congestion? <laughs> and we'll gather that information and we'll use that throughout our practice to pay special attention to the places that you in particular tend to hold your attention. Let's bring in a little movement. So keep your breath big, please. And keep your attention focused on this moment. Okay, your brain will try to pull you into the past or future, but just bring it back over and over, okay? With a little bend in your knees, you can bring your feet up by your hips and take your feet a bit wide. And we'll windshield wiper the knees out. 
Okay, this can be really gentle at first. And as a matter of fact, it'll probably be more effective of a, a hip opener and a low back release if you do start very gentle. So just kind of letting the knees drop without trying too hard. So notice your hips waking up. We have an inner and outer hip opening here, internal and then external rotation. So we're feeling some nice release. Notice your low back getting a nice little ringing out. So that should feel nice. And you might get some pops and that is okay as long as it feels good. But then I want you to kind of wake this up a little bit. Really press your upper body into the floor like you're almost trying to push the floor away from you with your arms. And allow that stability in your upper body to give you more mobility in your lower body. So more actively press the knees downward like you're trying to touch the floor with your knees. Notice how that feels in your hips. And of course, your low back. And then let's keep going with this twisty idea. We'll activate a bit more. So next time your knees point up, pause, pick up your feet and put your knees together over your hips. Keep your upper body really pressing strong into the floor and we'll hover the knees on one side and hover them on the other side. So keep breathing. I like to uh, maybe exhale on the twist and inhale through center. And I find that that also keeps me from going too fast. <laughs> so keep your shoulder blades grounded and notice what's happening in your spine now. The twist is moving further up your spine. And if you want a really great massage for your whole entire spine, look away from your knees when you hover them so that even the base of your skull is involved in your twist. Maybe a few more rounds on each side. If you want a little more, you can get a little more by extending your legs as you drop them out to the side, okay? Extending, and then you're thinking of dropping your feet towards your hands. It's gonna be a little more challenging for your core as well. So decide what's right for your, your vibe today. Maybe one more on each side. Press your arms down. And then back into center. We'll bend the knees. Tuck your hands behind your knees here. And let's take a few rocks and rolls. So think of this uh, kind of fun, just balancing up top and then rolling back again. Come up and balance. And then roll it back. Maybe a couple more times. Should feel good on your back. Next time you're up, balance there. Let's just hang out there for a little while. So here you are in your Navasana, your boat posture. Keep in mind, you can always drop your feet. No problem at all. But I'm gonna challenge you to get your core really warm here. So lean back just enough that you feel your abs engage. Okay, it's like right there, the abs will start to engage. Point your tailbone at your toes. So you're tucking your tailbone and your belly button is moving toward your spine. And then with or without your feet on the floor, with or without your hands on your knees, it's your choice. You're gonna roll your low back, just your low back onto the floor and then roll it back up to a boat. So it's a nice little challenge. You could think of inhaling to roll down to your half boat, Ardha Navasana, and exhale up to your full boat, Navasana. So take a few breaths with me moving like this. Half boat, inhale. Full boat, exhale. If you need less challenge, put your hands and feet on the floor. If you want more challenge, let go of your knees and extend your legs. Maybe reach your hands behind you when you come down to Arda. Exhale, maybe reach up to your feet. So make this just right for you three more times, please. Inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale and exhale. 
We're gonna hold the last half boat. Okay, come down to your half, hold. If you need a break, drop your hands and feet. Keep your head and shoulders lifted though, okay? If you like the challenge, extend your legs, hover them just off the floor. Extend your arms, hover them just off the floor. Your head and shoulders still lifted. Pull your low back down. Great core work. Three more breaths. Nice and slow. Two more breaths. Yes, you can. This is challenging. One more breath in. And last time, exhale all the way up to your boat. <laughs> all right, drop your feet in. We'll transition to hands and knees. So if your knees point to one side, you can come to hands and knees. Okay, let's get your wrists nice and stretched out. So we're gonna flip our hands over, palm faces up, fingers point back at you. Uh, if one hand is quite intense, then just do one. If it's all right, go ahead and do two. And we'll combine this little wrist stretch with a cat cow, getting a little bit more mobile in your spine. So inhaling, pull your heart forward. Think of pressing your hands down. Heart comes forward and you're lifting your belly button at the same time. And exhale, push the floor away. Let's take a few rounds like that. Inhale, heart forward, arching your spine. And exhale, push the floor. Okay. Now keep it going. You might close your eyes. I want you to get a little snaky with it. So your goal here is to find little spaces between your ribs and your shoulder blades that need release and roll into them. So make this very interpretive. Make it very custom tuned to your needs. Next time you come up to your cow posture, you're inhaling your heart forward, hold here, and exhale completely. Still arching your heart forward. One more inhale right here, lift your belly button. And exhale to your cat pose, round your spine, push the floor, hold here as you inhale into the backs of your shoulders. Hang out here as you exhale. Nice, inhaling back to your flat back. You can take your hands out of that wrist stretch. Hopefully you felt really nice. Whew, that was an intense wrist stretch. All right, toes are tucked here. Go ahead and walk your hands back to your feet. We're gonna lift the knees, come back to a forward fold. Hands walk to feet, really bend your knees here. Shake it out. So let's take the feet wide, wide-ish, maybe as wide as your mat is. Nice bend in your knees here. And hands are under your shoulders. Just take a moment to hang here. You might sway. And feel free, please, to really generously bend your knees, uh, especially if you notice that you're kind of hanging. This is not something we ever want to do to your spine, okay? So do let your spine hang. You want to think that your head is lower than or at least level with your knees. So feel free to generously bend. From here, find a place you can put your hands down under your shoulders, at the least your fingertips, okay? Fingertips or palms down. And we're going to bend into the left knee. Extend a little more in the right. Go ahead and reach up with your right hand. Take a big breath here. So you're twisting. And exhale, bring it down. Bend into the right knee, extend the left. Inhale, left hand up, look up at it. Exhale, bring it down. Can we just go side to side like this? Inhale on the right. Exhale down. Inhale on the left. Exhale down. Now we wanna hold this time. So we come up to the right, inhale and hold right here. Then breathe. You can bend that left knee a lot more, okay? You could extend it a little bit if that feels right. And perhaps if you're looking up at the right hand and all's going well, you can drop the right arm across your back and maybe grab your left thigh. See if you can grab it tight and twist open a little more to look up. 
Remember to make your spine really long here, moving your tailbone away from your head. One more breath. And let it go. We're switching sides, right hand down, left hand up. Big breath in, the right knee starts out bent. Hold here. Lengthen your spine. Okay, you can extend the right knee more or less. Maybe drop the left hand behind your back and you can try to grab that right thigh. Big twist. Big breath. Nice, one more big breath in here. Mm, exhale, let it go. <laughs> nice, pop your heels in here. Your toes are more out. And we're gonna drop the hips down to a squat. And I know we're not super warm, so it might be kind of an intense squat. And so you don't have to come down super far. You can always use your elbows on your knees and just kind of allow yourself to sink into it over time. So don't feel like you have to rush it. But if you find a place where you can let your hips kind of sink, hang out there and actively push your legs into the floor. So we're not passive. The legs are actively pushing down. Go ahead and put your palms together by your heart. See if you could stick your elbows between your knees and make your forearms perfectly parallel with the ground as you press your knees further apart. And let's hold and breathe right here. So as your knees press against your elbows and your elbows press against your knees, you're going to feel your inner thigh activating. So play around with that. Knees are squeezing elbows. Elbows are pushing knees. Find a lot of strength right there. Maybe you notice over time, after a few breaths, your legs might release, your hips might release, and you might sink a little lower. And we're gonna get a little more warm in your legs, so get ready. Keep your heart nice and upright. And inhale, push down into your legs. Interlace your fingers and reach out to the right. So here's a side stretch. Exhale right down into your squat, palms together. Push your knees apart. Let's come up to the other side. Push into your legs. Inhale. Interlace fingers. Hands push out to the left. And exhale, bring it down. Nice. Again on the right. Big breath in. Come on up. Big exhale. Again on the left. Inhale. And exhale. One more time on each side, okay? Up on the right. And down. And up on the left. And down. Nice. Your palms can come down here. Walk yourself forward and find a momentary plank. We're going to start to flow a little bit. My goal is just to get your, your joints a little bit warmer. So feel free to take it as uh, slowly and chill as you want to and always modify and take those breaks. But I just wanna get you a little bit warm so we can stretch. Okay, with your inhale here in your plank, here you are. With your exhale, bend your knees, hover them just off the mat. Okay, we can call this a plank squat. Your hips are by your heels. You're pushing with your hands, you're hovering. Inhale back to your plank and exhale, walk to your hands, fold here. Roll it up on your inhale, reach high, maybe a teeny tiny back bend up top. And with your exhale, drop it into a chair squat. So your hips come down, your heart looks up. Okay, listen carefully. Inhale, reach back with your right hand, looking behind you. Pull your left knee back at the same time. Exhale, back to your chair. Can you sink a little lower? Other side, inhale, left hand reaches back. Look at it and pull your right knee back. Exhale, back to your chair, drop a little lower. <sighs> inhale, up to stand, maybe a teeny tiny back bend right here. And exhale, hinge at your hips, fold it all the way down. Come halfway up on your inhale. Think of unfurling your spine to look forward. And exhale, really big fold. Maybe bend your knees and hug them. Palms can come down here. Inhale and step yourself back to a plank. 
Okay, can you just bring your knees, chest, and chin down? So bend your knees, pull your elbows in. You can hover knees, chest, and chin or touch down. With your inhale, pull your heart forward, press your tailbone to the center of the earth and lift that heart high, cobra. And exhale, tuck your toes. I'll meet you in a down dog. Take a couple breaths here and shake it off. So I'd like to do that little warming up flow two more times with you. And now that you know what to expect, maybe we'll move a little bit, a teensy bit faster. Here goes, inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling, plank squat. Hover your knees, hips to heels, push into your hands. Inhale to plank and exhale, step to your hands, big fold. Roll it up, inhale. Into your chair, exhale. Okay, we're gonna twist, you ready? Inhale, right hand back, left knee back, look back. Exhale, chair, drop lower. Inhale, other side, left hand back, right knee back, look back. Exhale, drop lower, hips level with knees maybe. Inhale to stand, lift high, maybe tiny back bend. Exhale to fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms down, inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. You can hover or come all the way down as you look forward, elbows in. Inhale to your cobra, tailbone down, heart up. Exhale, down dog. Shake it off, we'll do it one more time, okay? Notice your breath, your heart rate, body warmth. Here goes, inhale for your plank. Exhale, plank squat, hover. Inhale, plank. Exhale to your hands, fold. Roll it up, inhale, tiny back bend. Exhale, chair. Inhale, twist, right hand back. Exhale, chair, drop lower. Inhale, other side, left hand back. Exhale, chair, drop lowest. Inhale, standing, tiny back bend. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin, hover or not. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a little time here, maybe five or six breaths now that we're pretty warm. Okay, so now we can really begin to fine tune this downward facing dog. So you're really pressing into your hands and pushing back into your feet. And it's possible now that we've gotten a bit warmer that you could walk your fingers an inch or two forward and your spine just got that much longer. Enjoy that. Okay, we really wanna feel the heels moving downward. It's okay if they don't touch the floor, that's not a problem, but do move them downward. And what if you engage the front of your leg a little more to open up the back? For example, lift your toes and your kneecaps as you drop your heel. How does that feel on your hamstrings? We're gonna keep going here. One more big breath in. Maybe sigh it out on your exhale. Let's go, inhale, right leg up and out behind you. Exhale, right foot forward, drop it between your hands. We're gonna drop the back knee, coming up on your fingertips for your low lunge. Inhale and pull your heart forward, just like you're in a cow, a, a cow posture. So you're arching your spine forward. And exhale to pull your hips back, right toes point at your nose, round your spine like a cat posture. Again, inhale, low lunge, cow back. Exhale, pull it back, cat back. Okay, one more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Okay, you feel that nice wavy movement in your spine. Inhale forward into your lunge. 
Okay, we're dropping that left hand all the way to the floor now. Go ahead and get the right hand up. We're getting a nice twist out of this and let's hold and breathe. So here in your twist, you can keep the left knee down and keep it a little bit more chill, especially if you're feeling big stretches in your, uh, your legs right now. But if you wanna spice it up, you can tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, and you have a really nice twist here. No matter where you are, promise me this, you're pushing the floor down with all your leg bones. So think about your leg bones pushing down and your leg muscles pulling in. That's what we're looking for right there. From here, see if you can point your right toes out to the right. So you're rolling onto the outer edge of your right foot and roll onto the outer edge of your left foot as well. So all your toes are now pointing out to the right. If your left knee is on the floor, you can keep it on the floor, okay? All right, so left outer edge of the foot on the floor. I want you to lift your hips nice and high. Push the floor away. Can you reach your right hand over your head? Do you feel that huge stretch across your right side? As you exhale, drop your hips almost to the floor. Reach toward the back of the mat. Do you now feel the stretch across your left side? Again, inhale, hips up. Exhale, hips down. One more, just like that. Inhale, hips up. Okay, I have a funky exhale for you. Drop the right hand. Inhale, left, right leg up and out behind. Nice, exhale. Drop that right foot, you're back in down dog. Take a breath or two here. And let it all go. Shake it off, whatever happened. We're gonna take a little vinyasa in between, okay? So feel free to skip it if you'd rather just take a break. Inhaling, heart forward to plank. Exhaling, you can hop or step to your hands and fold. Roll it up, inhale. Little back bend, just one chair squat here. Exhale, but we're gonna hold it here for a big breath in. Drop it lower as you exhale. Inhale to stand, back bend. Exhale to fall. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down. Hop or step back to plank as you inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Maybe your legs are hovering for an upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take some time here and just breathe. Maybe close your eyes. Five or six breaths. Press the hands down, pull the feet back. Find a little extra inch in your spine by walking your fingers forward and engage your quadriceps, okay? Lift those kneecaps. Are you ready to do the other side? Here we go. Inhaling, left leg up and out behind you. Exhaling, drop that left foot between your hands. Okay, drop the right knee up on your fingertips. Little low lunge cat cows, okay? Inhale, heart moves forward, arching your spine like a cow pose. Exhale, pull your hips back like a half split. Left toes point at your nose, you round your spine. Inhale, low lunge, cow back. Exhale, half split, cat back. One more, big breath in, forward. Big exhale back. Nice, inhaling back up to that little low lunge. We're gonna ground the right palm and reach up with the left hand. So here you are in your little twist and I'll spin around to face you. So remember you can keep your back foot, your back knee down and just Take it uh, kind of gently here, especially if you're feeling a lot of stretchiness, okay? No reason to take it past what's pleasant and comfortable. But if you wanna pick it up a little bit, get a little deeper, you can tuck the right toes, hover the right knee. No matter where you are, push the floor down with your leg bones and pull your leg muscles inward towards your hips. Okay, I want you to feel that stability. So keep your legs active, okay? 
We're going to change this into a horizon lunge. So we need to roll on the outer edges of both feet. So all your toes are going to point out to the left and you can do this with your uh, right knee down. Okay, no problem at all. You'll just get a little bit more with the right knee up. So I want you to push the floor away with your legs as you inhale, lift your hips, sweep that left hand over your head for a huge left side stretch and exhale, hover the right hip just off the floor, reach back for a right hip stretch. Again, inhale, bring it up, push the floor. Exhale, lower it down. One more big breath in. And exhale this time, drop the left hand, inhale, left leg up and out behind you. Exhale, back to down dog. Take a breath or two here. And let it all go. Here comes a little vinyasa to cleanse your palate. Feel free to skip it. Heart moves forward on your inhale. Exhale, hop for a step to your plate or to your fold. Inhale, roll it up. Teeny tiny back bend, maybe more if you're a little bit warmer. And exhale into your chair. So we're gonna stay here for a full breath in. And we're gonna sink down low as you exhale, maybe hips level with your knees. Inhale up to your back bend. And exhale into your fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. You can hop or step, yogi's choice. Exhaling, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, five or six. Okay, I wanna play around here with this, uh, this feeling of lifting the center of your palm up. So maybe you even come up on all your fingertips and you've actually lifted your palm up off the floor. And I want you to feel like you're suction cupping the center of your palm up into your shoulder. Notice how that feels in your armpits and your chest. And maybe if your feet are pretty warm, Okay, especially if you're a runner and your feet get used a lot, I want you to point your toes behind you and roll onto the top of your foot. And you can really roll into it, bending one knee. And if it feels good, you might just do one foot at a time, rolling over your toes. Or if you're feeling super spicy, you might do two feet at a time. You can roll over all your toes, roll over the tops. Okay, it should feel nice for your feet. Your feet get used so much. Maybe one more big breath in this really weird downward facing dog. And then as you're ready, okay, I want you to come down to your right knee and swing your left leg out front. And then you're just gonna sit back inside your right foot. Okay, and I'll turn so that you can see where we're going with this. So your right knee is bent. Your right foot is next to your hips, okay? And if this is painful in any way, you can just skip this and just put your right foot to step on the inside of your left thigh, all right? But if you're, you're, everything's feeling good here, we're gonna stick with this, okay? So the left leg is nice and long. And then this might be quite enough. So we're looking for a nice stretch across the top of your right thigh, your right quadriceps. Uh, another thing I want you to make sure of, please, is that your right knee does not point out to the right, but it's always pointed dead straight center, okay? Close to your left knee. It may be that you'd like to lean back and get a little more here. Okay, remember to point your tailbone at your left foot. So we don't want the arch in the back here. We want tailbone pointed at your left foot. You might feel good coming down to your elbows today. And you might come all the way down to your back. So we're really just looking for a nice stretch across your right leg. 
So if you're on your back and you still want more, you have some options. You can continue to press your right knee down into the floor like you're trying to push the floor down with your right knee. And you can bring your left foot onto the floor close to your right uh, knee and you can push down with your left foot too. Ah, should feel good. Okay, never feel bad. I'll take a few more breaths into your right quad. Okay, chances are there's at least something to release in there. And keeping that knee moving toward the left will get you a little bit more IT band, okay, a little bit more maybe into the outer hip. So when you're ready to come up, extend your left leg if you had it bent. Go ahead and put your hands under your low back, like make a little diamond. I'm showing you what that might look like out of your hands under your low back and push yourself up with your elbows so that you don't uh, have to strain. And then I want you to just sit up straight here. And now I'm gonna have you pick up your left leg and hold it up in the air. If you wanna grab your thigh, knee, shin, whatever, just grab it and hold it. Now, Carefully pull it as close as you can to your face. Really activate your leg. I'm gonna challenge you to let it go. Reach your hands up in the air, three breaths here. Pull it closer with each exhale. Again, inhale, reach long through the foot. Exhale, pull it closer. This is challenging. One more big breath in to get long. Mm, exhale, let it go. Whew. Okay, from here, you can put your hands over to the left, kind of curl your right, your, um, sorry, put your hands over to the right, curl your left leg back behind you. And I wanna meet you in a down dog from here. So come on back to down dog. And just think about how you feel in here in your legs. Notice what's different. Notice what's the same. Walk it out. And let's just take a little in between vinyasa, okay? Feel free to skip. Inhaling, find your plank. Exhaling to your hands. Inhaling, roll it up. Big heart. Exhale into your chair. Stay here. Big breath in. Go lower on your exhale. Inhale, back bend all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. Yogi's choice for your vinyasa, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Okay, pull the elbows inward. Really lift your toes and drop your heels, lengthen your spine. And then as you're ready, come down to your left knee and we'll swing the right leg around front and have a seat. So we're just gonna do everything on the other side now. Same thing on the other side. So if this is not good for your left knee, not a problem, just put your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Same idea, okay? But we're gonna really get into this left quad. So sit up nice and tall and decide if you wanna stay here because this might be quite enough. So if you wanna keep going, please do. Start to walk your hands back. Remember to keep your left knee activating down and to the right. So you're always pulling it down and toward that right kneecap. Maybe elbows. Make sure your tailbone is pointing at your right foot. Maybe all the way down to your back. Okay, you still want more. Keep pushing that left knee down and to the right. Maybe the right leg helps out. You can bring the right foot next to the left knee and also push down. Breathe here. Okay, find where you can release. And that left quad. 
maybe IT band is talking to you a little bit. <sighs> maybe one more breath here. And we'll start to come up as you're ready. So really no rush. We'll extend that right leg if we bent it. Make a little triangle underneath your low back with your hands and push down into the floor to come up. And then challenge yourself to pick up that right leg and grab it. Pull it close to you and activate it big time, okay? Because we're gonna extend it on the inhale. Let it go. Exhale, pull it closer. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it closer. Big challenge. Inhale, extend. It's okay if it shakes. That's just your leg's way of thanking you for taking care of it. One more breath in. And let it go. Okay, lean your hands over to the left. We're going to swing the right leg around. And I'll meet you in your very last down dog of this practice. Hmm, notice how it feels. So as you're ready, come on down to your knees. We'll sit over to one side of feet and both legs can come around front now. So now we're really gonna get into your hamstrings, all right? So if you notice that it's challenging to extend your legs uh, in kind of a satisfying extension, and also if you notice that it's hard to sit up straight, maybe you feel like you have to lean back here, no problem. It's really easy to fix that by just bending your knees a little bit. So you can pick them up. Um, and notice that it's a lot easier to sit up straight. So find some kind of way that you can sit up nice and tall. And even if it is easy for you to extend your legs, I want you to keep a little tiny micro bend in them uh, because we don't want them to lock, do we? That would be uh, counterproductive. So make sure they're active. And one way I like to activate the legs is by kicking down through the heel. So kick down with your heels and pull your toes and your kneecaps up to your hips. So you've activated the front and the back of the leg. Nothing is locked out. Fingertips down by your hips. You're having a long spine with your inhale. And with your exhale, you're moving your heart toward your toes. Now just pause where you feel rounding in your spine. No reason to go further right now. And inhale back up to your long spine, nice and tall. Exhale again, move your heart towards your toes. Pause where you feel rounding in your spine. Inhale back up. One more and we'll hold it, okay? Exhale, heart moves forward and pause right here. So we're keeping our legs active, right? We can always bend the knees more if we feel like that gives us more space. And maybe you have your fingers on the ground. But maybe after a few breaths, the spine lengthens, the heart moves forward, maybe elbows come down and that feels nice. And you are acknowledging here that your spine is going to round. However, you wanna keep the heart moving forward as much as possible. Keep extending through your knees, push the heels down, pull the toes back, pull the kneecaps in. And maybe keeping that spine long, maybe you wanna drop your head, okay? Just keep your neck long, please. Keep it long on all sides. And notice how your low back feels about this. Try to resist the temptation to grab onto your legs and pull. We're looking for intrinsic strength here. What is your intrinsic fold? Okay, that's much more interesting to us right now. Intrinsic strength. 
Maybe two more long, slow breaths. Strong legs, resist the floor with your legs. They're not passive. You might find that resisting the floor gives you more opportunity to release the backs of the legs and the low back. Take your time coming out of this, okay? Walk yourself back up. And then we'll bend this right knee and pull in the right foot. Let's take the right foot to the other side of the left leg. So, and we can just kind of flop the right foot. It's kind of messy. It doesn't need to be anything in particular, but take your knees pretty close. So this is a, a half Gomukhasana, okay, a half cow face pose. If this is quite enough in your right outer hip and you don't need any more, then just stay like this. If you want more, you wanna go deeper into your right outer hip, you'll also bend your left knee and pull your left foot closer in towards your right hip, okay? So half or full, it's really whatever vibe you want in your practice today and what your hip is asking for. So once you're there, especially if you're in the full Gomukhasana, it's going to be a little extra challenging to get your right hip to come down. So put a little extra weight into it. Make sure the hips are equally heavy and ground your fingertips no matter where you are. Sit up nice and tall and breathe. If it's too much, back out. If you still want more, you can move both of your feet out away from your hips so that they're level with your knees, right? Lined up with your knees. I wouldn't take them any further, okay? To further deepen this posture, squeeze your legs together and push them down like you're trying to push the floor away from you. So that same idea that we come back to again and again, we resist and we exert a little bit of effort, just enough, just enough effort that we can get a lot of release in the places that matter. So thinking of your right outer hip right now, breathe deeply and push the floor down with your legs. Okay, so whether you are in full Gomukhasana or half with one leg straight, just stay uh, with the full or half. Don't feel like you have to uh, go full if it's not working. Um, but either way, walk your left fingertips out to the left, push down into the left fingertips and really ground that right outer hip. Right hand can come up and over for a really nice side stretch. Take a breath or two here. Should feel nice. And then drop the right fingertips next to the left. So you just turn this into a twist. Be aware if your right hip just popped up, put it down on the floor. You can push with your fingertips to keep the right hip down. Breathe into all the tissues of your back. Do you feel that great stretch? Continue to resist the floor with your legs. Imagine there is a big circle around you and the center of it is your tailbone and your hands are on the perimeter of the circle. Walk your hands around the perimeter until they're out in front of you. Okay, push into your fingertips again. Get your hips nice and heavy. Breathe. Resist the floor with your legs. Let's keep going over to the right side of the perimeter. You can walk them as far out as you like, okay? Almost behind you if you want. Push the floor, ground your hips, breathe into your back. And then as you're ready, let's finish it up by reaching up with that left hand over to the right. Push down with your right fingers. Hmm. 
And let's bring this back up to center. And you can lean back on your hands here and you can kick out your legs and maybe shake them out with some windshield wipers. So we're gonna do all that on the other side. It might be totally different on the other side. As a matter of fact, more than likely it will be. So let go of your expectations. Okay, so now we'll have the right leg as the long leg that we'll start out with. And the left knee will uh, stack on top of the right knee. So the left foot is just out there somewhere on the right. It's really not important where right now. So decide if you want to stick with your half Gomukhasana here. You can do everything from here. Working now in your left outer hip. So bring your awareness there. Resist the floor. If you want to go further, the right knee bends as well. You decide. So put your feet close to you for less challenge, further away from you for a more deep opening. I wouldn't take them past your knees. And start to squeeze your knees together and press your lower body into the floor like you're trying to push the floor away. Fingers down, long spine. Breathe. What is happening in your left outer hip? Is your left hip off the floor? Do you need to put it down? From here, right fingers walk out to the right. Left hand overhead, big side stretch and breathe. Make sure the fingers are pushing down so your hips stay heavy and your legs are still resisting the floor. Mm. Left fingers now can join the right fingers. Push the floor, ground your hips, stretch out your back. Okay, imagine that circle around you. Walk your fingers on the perimeter out to the front. Push the floor, resist the floor with your legs. Breathe. Okay, fingers walking over to the left, as far as you like. Push down into the floor with everything that's on it. And finally, the final touch, the right hand can reach up and over your head, out to the left. And ending with a really nice side stretch. Push the floor. As you're ready, bring yourself back in the center. Go ahead and kick your legs out. Uh, one last windshield wiper here. Appreciate all the great work you did today. Nice work. And we'll end up right where we started. Come all the way down to the mat. Close your eyes. And we'll kind of go in reverse now. We'll exit the same way we came in. So rather than Gaining control over your breath here. I want you to let go control of your breath. Rather than intentionally using muscles in your body, I want you to let go of all the muscles, all control. Let all sense of effort or doing just melt away. Just 100% present here, right now. Noticing every single thing about this moment.
Cultivate a moment of bliss here. And hopefully you can use each round of breath to surrender a little more. Maybe you notice your mind reaching into the past or the future, and that's okay. Notice that with amusement. Bring your awareness back again and again and again, a thousand times back to this moment. Notice how your eyelids feel closing against each other. Notice the very particular shade of dark, warm gray behind your eyelids. Notice the clock ticking, the sound of the cars passing, people moving in your house. This is the only moment that we have. This is right where I will leave you today. So please keep resting just like this for as long as you can. Thank you so much for joining me.